this is DTEC from the Samurai Aquatics Outdoor Decor Store and this is our third video in our last video we made three files LOD 0, 1 and 2 so we're going to start with LOD 0 and the process is going to be the same for each file so we have our bench ready and now what we need to do we already know there is the layout tab and there is the shading tab so now we go to the UV editing tab and here i guess right now we can already delete uh, delete the uh, building so that we don't get this image uh, so i'm going to go ahead and delete all the extra files so there's nothing in the way so we just have the bench now and put the colors on so now we need to place all these items onto our UV map. So we need to make a new UV map for LOD0. The requirements for UV map are 1024 by 1024 JPEG. So we're going to go image new. Now remember that this is not the same as the tab below. This this tab over here all these files are for this particular uh, image only so we're going to type in bench LOD 0 1024 this way it's, we don't mix them up so here's our UV map now uh, everything we select here should appear over here and it doesn't do, 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 do. Mm. Let's try UV unwrap, smart unwrap, but margin 0 0.02. Now, I'm not sure what the margin is. Let me open the baking map. So, in the baking map provided by Upland, uh, it says Iceland should have a margin of 0 0.014365. This is actually very important. So, let me type that in 0. One four three six five. There we go. Now everything is there. Now all we need to do is see it on this one. Now this is a common issue. I, I remember I have I had this before, and I could. Oh, there we go. This this button. Now when I was first starting, I couldn't see anything, and I was just really frustrated because nothing would appear. Now there's one when you have more complicated things there's an issue when something when something is really small it doesn't appear it doesn't get baked and uh, the, there's another issue like sometimes you can make the image bigger for example 2048 by 2048 but then you have to adjust the margin so then when you uh, decrease the image um, those things get baked and you'll see the colors but anyways in this case, we're gonna everything's like that. It's perfect. So now each item, as you can see, is on the UV map and it's gonna get baked there. Now we're gonna save. I usually save this image again. Make sure it's a JPEG. Save. So you got this image saved. And now over here, here's your image. Now what we do now is we go to the shading tab. And in each one of your textures, you want to bake it now. And what you're going to do is you're going to take take this uh, UV map and place it here, and make sure it's selected. And also, like, make sure you know check your roughness that everything. Then you go to your next one and place it as well. And oh, actually, we don't have the. We can select this like this. Control C and Control V. Oh. Control C, Control V, and we can connect it like that. It's not, I don't think it's, it helps here, but anyways. So now make sure it's selected. Go through all your uh, layers before baking again, and make sure everything's selected. So now this is your UV map here. And these items will be baked onto the uh, UV map. 
and the baking happens i guess over here so you have this selected when you bake it bakes here it's, it's a little like complicated to understand i still can't say i totally understand it so now we're in the layout tab i usually do it in the layout layout tab i go to the um uh, what's it called render properties make sure i think it's cycles yeah you go you make sure it's selected uh, with cycles go to bake and here we select the margin so let's look at our um just a second our tab with all the baking properties and output margin of six okay so now we go here and we type in six pixels margin and everything is like that combined there's other ways to bake it but this is the simplest and uh, best quality kind of bake if all your um, everything on your baking map is spread out like that each item takes its own place or no overlap then you can bake it um, using combined and what, you, what it gets it gives you the right shadows everywhere so when your item is uh, in in upland it looks very nice so we click bake and it's baking and it's done so now we go to uv editing and we see if we unselect everything you can see all the bakes are there and you can see some are missing as you can see these lines did not bake only one of them bake so in this case we can either like try making a bigger uv map or you can just i i usually just photoshop which is kind of cheating but i can kind of copy one of these and place it everywhere so apart from these really tiny lines and this one everything else seems to be good uh, so now uh, let's say the UV map was done perfectly and there was no errors like this and I'm actually not sure how to fix that error if anybody has any idea I can drop it I think it happens because the line is smaller than the pixel that's why it happens that's why i i, I like uh, if you put a bigger image then it, it works sometimes okay so we go to image save as and we save it as this as a jpeg and also you can control the quality here and it gives you a different file size so depending on how how many problems you have with your file size uh you, with your we put a different quality so there now it's saved now we go to shading tab and what we can actually do is connect uh connect your uv map to the output and you can see it changes see it's a little lower quality so now when we do the dark wood you can notice how it's going to change in quality there now this is actual how it's going to look inside the game so we go here this is your item for the game and again you're looking at this at least from this far away in uplands so it's not a big deal and so i guess this is the end for this video next video is the most important it's how to prepare the, your baked file for uh handing in handing handing it in handing it in